This is a parallelogram. It has a length, which we will call A. A can stand for any number. This parallelogram also has a height, that we will call B. B can also stand for any number. Let's assume that we want to find the area of this parallelogram, but we don't have any formula that can allow us to do this. We do, however, know the formula for the area of a rectangle. The interesting thing about a parallelogram is that by making a cut that is perpendicular to one of its sides, and by moving the resulting piece to the other end, we'll end up with a rectangle. In fact, we'll end up with the same rectangle no matter where we choose to make that cut. More interesting still, that rectangle will have a length A and a height B, just like the original parallelogram. We can compare the two and see that they both have the same length and they both have the same height. What's great about this is that since we know the formula for the area of a rectangle, which is base times height, or in this case, A times B, we can see that we can use the same formula for the parallelogram, base times height, A times B.